Scientists are one step closer to understanding the galaxy following the discovery of more than a thousand new planets outside the Earth's solar system. The celestial bodies were detected by NASA's orbiting telescope and more than 50 of the planets have the potential to support life forms. The deeper we look, the more we find. Not just stars in their billions, but orbiting around them planets as well. New worlds emerging from the dark in far greater numbers than expected. And this is what's behind the latest wave of discoveries, the Kepler Space Telescope, aimed at one piece of sky and unearthing a new solar system, with six planets circling unusually close to their star, the largest batch found in one go. This really is as good as it gets. This, to us, seems like the most important find in extrasolar planets since 1995, when the first extrasolar planet was discovered. The mission of hunting for planets is picking up speed. The telescope works by watching stars to see if planets move in front of them. If they do, the stars get very slightly dimmer, the equivalent of looking at a car headlight and seeing a flea cross it. The technique has found more than 500 planets already, with another 1,235 possible, and an astonishing 54 hospitable to life, not too warm and not too cold. Three, two, engine start. It was nearly two years ago that a rocket blasted the Kepler telescope into space. On board, an incredibly sensitive camera, its key components made here in Britain in these clean rooms at a high-tech firm at Chelmsford in Essex. Who knows how many more planets they'll find, all the time raising the chances of discovering an alien world where it's possible that there might be life. And the so-called exoplanets are some of the smallest ever found and scientists hope their discovery will lead to a better understanding of how planets are formed. That's the BBC's David Shookman reporting there.